back everybody to another video freaking squirrels are going nuts we're gonna try to do a squirrel catch and cook today in the woods that's the goal shoot it in the woods and cook it in the woods sounds like there's one or two squirrels up above me here so i got with me today my savage sporter 22 this gun is very very old it's also my one of my favorite squirrel guns. So my plan is today, we're gonna bounce around, kinda sit and uh, wait for one to come by. You know, sit for an hour and then move, sit for an hour and then move. I also have my squirrel call with me. Since that guy's calling, I'm gonna see if I can call it in too. squirrels right up here. There's another. One more. Yeah, come on down. Got him. I think. He died in the nest. Man, there's squirrels everywhere up here. I had three. 
three in this tree. I shot at one over there. I've seen four or five run this way. All right, let's see if we can find these squirrels. They should be at the base of this tree here. All right, there's one of our squirrelies. The other one I know landed. At least in the tree somewhere. Whew. Oh, there he is. I walked right by him. There's two or squirrels. That was good though. A lot of misses. I think my ammo is old. I don't know if you guys could tell from the GoPro, but it's like barely firing, so I have to start looking for 22 ammo, I guess. Why don't we go cook these things up? I'm gonna try to make squirrel backstrap today. And if you guys like these kinds of catch and cook videos, let me know down below, either comment or leave a like. Let me know what you guys think about this kind of stuff. All right, well, I got a couple pieces of squirrel here, just about a handful. Um, I didn't bring a plate, and I think I think that's gonna be an issue when I'm cooking with hot oil. So I didn't go too crazy with cutting up a whole lot of meat. All right, I put the squirrels in some franks. I'm gonna let them sit in there for a little bit. Let that hot sauce try to soak into the meat a little bit. Then we're gonna dip them in flour and fry them. Oops. And we're gonna fry them in some oil. Oh no. Okay, well while that heats up, I'm going to fish for these pieces of squirrel, dunk them into the flour, got them in the flour now. I think they're getting pretty close. I don't think it's going to take a whole lot to get these done. They are pretty small pieces. That one, there's about nothing left. Let's see if we can get a piece here. Definitely should have brought a plate. That's my dumb fault there. Smells burnt, unfortunately, but there's not a whole lot I can do about that. It's gonna be so freaking hot in there. Does look exquisite though. Little nugget. All right. See how this tastes. Tastes pretty good. Kind of tastes like rabbit. It's a little chewy. Frank's could be a little bit more intense. 
There's not a lot, a whole lot of flavor with it. It's not bad for doing this within a half an hour after shooting them. Here's one of the bigger pieces. I definitely burned it on the bottom a little bit, but. Tastes good. I'd like to know how to get rid of the uh, the chewiness. I don't know if squirrels are always just that chewy or maybe it was how I fried it. I don't know. But if you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Comment down below what, what you guys like, didn't like. I love talking to you guys. I reply to 99.999% of every single comment that I get. Until next time, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a I hope you had a Merry Christmas. Peace.